Nicola Lopes is my name, and I was born in a small town named Riachos in Portugal in the year of 1915. After four years of primary school, with my parents without the financial resources to send me to a college and study, at 11 years of age I was moved to the World Force. My very first trade was a barber, which I learned back in my own town of adoption, Alcanena. I met my wife when I was 16 years of age and we start dating one year after. But my wife from town, Torres Novas, was near Alcanena at a distance of 14 kilometers, which many years ago was a fair, fair, a fair distance with traveling to and from by push bike. Our dating developed to a near relationship and to be closer to her, I stopped the everyday traveling to see her and I have moved to, the, to her hometown to work. We have married when we were 20 years of age, which these days we say still kids and already married. Life was going so well, but Portugal was at war with the African Portuguese colonies who were fighting for independence, so military conscription was compulsory and I had to serve the Portuguese National Service 27 months away in Angola. Together with the time of preparation in Portugal, I was involved with the military for 47 months, just short from four years. My oldest son, born in 1976, I was thrilled as family increased. My wife and I were ever happy about our newborn. In the year of 1978, I thought that I should move my family to Australia, thinking that in country with a democratic tradition such as Australia, the opportunity to a better life was a good spectrum. And at the end, it was the greatest ever family move. So I have arrived in Sydney at 10th of June 1978. My wife was crying, missing back home. But I was strong and I fought for my family, which in 1986 was increased with our second son. The born of my second son gave me even more strength to continue my life in Australia. Surely we became a family of unity with the youngest son bringing the joy that we are looking for. From working as a hairdresser to a leather lounge manufacturer was a big jump. But the challenge was interesting and the move to the furniture industry at the end was a great, a great move. However, thought that I should do another move in life and I went to college to start marketing. And that alone was a big adventure, although advised by teachers that it was going to be very difficult for me to succeed. Once again, perseverance paid and I agree in 2001. I, I then started to work within my own company as a business and marketing manager. Business and factory building I sold all in 2004. I then done few things but nothing too serious. I have a, However, near retirement I thought that I should upgrade myself and continue to be active. Therefore, my decision was to look for some sort of work that I didn't have to travel much. Hence, I have chosen to work online and build business that way. My experience in marketing as well in business management led me to learn how to sell from home using my computer. The important part of it is these days we do not have to be expert or have degrees in business or marketing to build a home business, anyone can do it. A computer and an internet line does all for us. My aim is to teach whom likes the idea and it is possible to make commissions of $1,000, $3,000 and $5,000. Wishing all the best in life. Look forward to receive your contact. Please visit my website www.menopam.com to learn more about working from home. Thank you, Manuel Lopez here.